Botanic Gardens can be said to date to the 20th of May 1817 when the organisation was instituted that ran the gardens at that time, which was the Royal Botanic Institution of Glasgow. And they purchased a plot of land at Sandyford near Charing Cross and they began to establish a botanic garden on the site there. It was closely linked to the University of Glasgow at that time, but one of the most influential people was Thomas Hopkirk of Dalbeth, who we consider now to be our founder. Well, the, the reason for the Botanic Gardens uh, being founded was linked mainly to education. It was for teaching of botany and teaching for medical students as well because plants were very important in medicine, they still are today. After a number of years at the Sandyford site, there was not enough space, so the Botanic Gardens moved up to this new site. Uh, between 1839 and 1842, it took quite a long time to move all the plants and the glass houses up to this site in Kelvin site where the gardens are today. Well, when the Kibble Palace came here, of course, originally it was used as a concert venue. So there was all sorts of concerts and public meetings. Uh, later on, in, the, in 1914, the suffragettes tried to blow up the Kibble Palace, which was rather dramatic. Uh, it wasn't successful, uh, but they did manage to blow out 27 panes of glass, which was reported in the newspapers at the time. But from 1891, the gardens were open, free of charge to everyone, and that's the way it continues to today, including the glass houses, and I think that's a real strength of Glasgow Botanic Garden. Well, this morning we're in uh, the new garden classroom in Glasgow Botanic Gardens. Cool pupils, uh, children come to the Botanic Gardens. Uh, the education officer can talk to them about the gardens, the value of the gardens, the benefit of the gardens, what the gardens means to, to the city and the wider scientific uh, plant community. But for a lot of people, um, they come here to relax and enjoy the peace and quiet of the gardens. So the gardens mean a lot to, to local people. Uh, they bring the children here. The, the fish pond in the Kibble Palace is a great favourite. You see families coming in there and the first thing the children go to is looking at the, at the fish. On Saturday we have our bicentenary event. It's 200 years to the day from when the Botanic Gardens was originally instituted and we thought it would be a good idea to invite people to come. Well, I, of course, have lived in the Botanic Gardens and worked here for many years, for 39 years, and I've lived in the, in the West Lodge for th uh, 35 years, so it's a way of life for me. I love the gardens, and it's been a great pleasure and privilege to be in charge for all these years.